$66 out the door! Hey guys, welcome back to the Bald Shredder channel. And yes, I am finally checking out an instrument from Gear It? Gear IT? I don't know how to say that. And it's true. I got this guitar on Amazon. Total price, including tax and everything, $66. Now I'm gonna tell you how I got it at such an incredible price, but first I need to ask you guys a favor. If you are not subscribed already to the Bald Shredder channel, if you could take a quick second to just reach down and hit that subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. And also guys, if you're not aware, I do a live stream every week right here on the Bald Shredder channel every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Pacific time. And make sure you're tuned in to my next live stream because I'm gonna have a very special announcement about this guitar. All right, so how did I get such a great deal on this guitar? Well, you know, I'm always browsing on Amazon pretty much every day, just looking for good deals, new brands, uh, new instruments from existing brands, and just things like that. So I'm always checking it out. And I've seen this brand on there for a while, it's nothing new. And I've been a little curious, you know, they've had like strap models and Les Paul models, and I've been kind of curious, but I was kind of holding off for like two reasons. And I feel kind of silly saying this, but it was like the name and the headstock shape. That is an awful headstock shape. And the name's not a whole lot better. So every time I would see one of these on Amazon or I'd see people doing like reviews of them, I just, I just always got this feeling of like, that looks really cheap because of the headstock shape and because of the name. But I need to get over that. Okay, so I'm looking on Amazon and I see this guitar, I'd seen it before. And I notice, oh wow, price break. They've lowered the price, it's like $75. So I click on it and I see that it's only this color that's on sale for like $75, the sunburst. But then there's also a 5% coupon. So you, you have to click that little box to get that 5% coupon and then you put it in your cart. And at that point I was still like, mm, I don't, you know, maybe, do I, do I wanna pull the trigger on this one? I was thinking, you know, 75, 5% off. Uh, I still wasn't sure, so I just left it in my cart, I closed out Amazon, and then I was doing some other stuff, and then I came back to it a little bit later. And then when I went in my cart to look at it again, I saw that it was like back to the normal price, like $95, and I'm thinking, what happened? Did the price go up already? So I went back to the listing, no, it still says 75, but now I notice there's like a little red timer that's literally counting down to when this deal is gonna be no longer offered. I think I had like three hours or something like that, but just seeing those red numbers and it's counting down backwards, it like puts this pressure on you like, oh my gosh, I better buy it now or I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss this opportunity. So, because I went back to it the second time, now I noticed that there was another coupon. It said 10% brand coupon. So I deleted it from my, uh, from my cart and then I clicked on the 5% coupon and then the 10% brand coupon, put it back in my cart and then I you know, go to checkout to see like what the final price is gonna be. Then with tax, it was exactly $66 even. And do you guys remember back in the day when we used to shop in stores actually before the internet took over everything? You'd go into Guitar Center and you'd like negotiate a deal. I mean, this is years ago. They didn't have set prices. You had to negotiate deals with the salespeople. And you'd be like, okay, hmm, how about, you know, $200 out the door. And when you would say out the door, that meant including the tax. Well, since I didn't buy this in a store, I can't really say it was $66 out the door. Maybe I should say it was $66 delivered to my door. So with that price, guys, $66, I was like, I cannot pass this up. Even if it's terrible, even if, it, if it's absolute junk, I'm gonna take a shot at this for that price. So you can see it's a Tele style guitar and it is a semi hollow Tele style. We've got a hardtail bridge, which I love, a humbucker in the bridge position and a P90 in the neck position. And your standard controls, a volume, a tone, a three-way blade and the push-pull pot. Now the first thing that I noticed when I pulled it out of the gig bag was, wow, this is heavy. So I grabbed my little digital scale and I checked the weight and this puppy comes in at 8.14 pounds. So yeah, a little on the heavy side. And that's surprising considering it's like a semi-hollow, right? It's got all that wood in there hollowed out. 
Imagine how much it would weigh if this was a solid body and that none of that was hollowed out. So I guess this just must be a really heavy piece of ash. Now I have given this thing a really good once over. I looked over everything. It's very nicely made. The neck has that kind of vintage yellow tint to it. The whole neck, yes, it is covered in high gloss and it's not a super thin neck, but this is the kind of neck like that you would kind of expect to see on a Tele style guitar. The frets, kind of medium style frets with the rounded ball ends, so no sharp ends at all, placed very evenly, very good job on the frets. The fret work is good. I've got like fairly low action and I'm not getting a bunch, uh, bunch of buzzing frets. So yeah, I think they did a good job on the frets. Now this has those vintage style tuners, which I really don't like the look of the vintage style tuners. However, the tuners on this one, man, they're great. They're super smooth. Now after I took it out and I tuned it up and I tried to play it a little bit and then I took a close look at the saddles, I did notice that like a bunch of the saddles, they weren't they weren't even like they were little like one of the screws would be further down and the other one was kind of up so the saddle would be kind of crooked like that on a few of them but that was very easy to fix i just got my little allen wrench just put it in there turn the screw and kind of evened them back up you know the three or four that needed that tuned it back up and then it was good to go all right guys i'm gonna play it i'm gonna give you some samples and we're gonna see how it sounds and see how it plays check it out Alright guys, I know what you're saying. Dude, where was the shred? This is not a shred guitar. At all. I think it's a very nice guitar. It plays well, it sounds good, but the neck, you know, it's a little bit too thick, a little bit too round. The pickups don't quite have the output that I need for that shred sound. So yeah, it's like, I, I did try to do a little shredding on it, but it just wasn't coming out very good and I'm like, Okay, why am I trying to force the shred 
onto a guitar that's not a shred guitar. So yeah, I'm not gonna recommend it for like metal, but anything else guys, country, classic rock, blues, rockabilly, whatever, it's good for that. So is it getting the bald shredder stamp of approval? I mean, come on, for $66, how could it not? Now before you start screaming in the comments that, dude, I'm looking on Amazon, it's $95, it's not $66, well, duh. This was one of those temporary deals that pop up every so often, it's not there for a long time. Remember I told you there was a clock and it was literally counting down to when that deal would be gone. So will that price ever come back? I have no idea. You know, you just gotta keep checking the listings like I do all the time. So we got the gig bag with the logo on there, with the rubber foot on the bottom, a nice handle here, big pocket, the straps on the back. Yeah, it's not the greatest gig bag, but it is by far not the worst one either. And then we got a bag full of stuff here. Let's see what is in the bag. All right, so first of all, we've got a cable. And by the looks of it, I mean, it says premium instrument cable, and I could tell by the, you know, looking at the rubber, and you know what, let's just, let's go ahead and take it out because I can't see the whole thing fully. Let's see if it's actually pretty good or not. Uh, okay, I'm gonna say it's, it's okay. It's not the best, but again, it's, uh, it's not as bad as those really, really cheap ones that you get with some guitars. Okay, then we've got an extra set of guitar strings. That's cool. We have got a really cheap strap. And, of course, it's gotta come with a tuner. These guitar kits always seem to come with these uh, clip-on tuners, so this one has one. And in here we've got one, two, it looks like three gear it, gear IT, whatever, guitar picks. And last but not least, just kinda rolling around in there, we've got the Allen wrench for the truss rod if you need to adjust it. And then there's a, a little pamphlet with some info if you want some info. Is there another little Allen wrench in there anywhere? Oh, there is. You know, I'm surprised they didn't, I'm surprised they didn't put these Allen wrenches in another separate little bag because they're rolling around in the big bag. But there's the little one you need to adjust the bridge. Like remember I talked about having to turn those screws to even out the saddles. That's what you would need that for. And then they've got um, a business card, right? So yeah, good deal. So I'm gonna say it again, guys. The semi-hollow Tele style from Gear It, Gear IT, whatever, for 66 bucks, definitely a fabulous deal. And don't forget to check out my next live stream on Wednesday, 7 p.m. Pacific time, because I will have an important announcement regarding the fate of this guitar. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hey.